Hey guys, it's Robert with RV Weekends, and we're going to do another cooking video in the RV. Let's do it. All right, this time we're going to do a first. I'm going to cook some snapper, red snapper. Let's take a look at what I got. First of all, I have my red snapper three big huge fillets of snapper and I cut them up for single servings for me and put them in individually ziplock and froze them so here is my serving and I'm gonna use some breadcrumbs uh, and I have some leftover breadcrumbs from the last video with the chicken wings and we're gonna spice them up with a little Italian style breadcrumbs and some Italian seasoning got some olive oil that we're gonna use on the breadcrumbs we're gonna have a side of mixed veggies with some mixed veggies already mixed and then I'm gonna add broccoli to the mixed vegetables. And I got some regular white rice we're gonna use, boil bag, and I'm gonna add some peppers and onions to the white rice. So let's get started. Well, what's gonna take the longest on this meal is gonna be the rice and the vegetables. So being that I boil the rice in uh, a lot of water, that's gonna take a while for the water to heat up. So we're gonna start the wild water boiling for the rice first and get the veggies uh, started also. And while that is all cooking, then we'll do the breadcrumbs and get the uh, fish in the breadcrumbs and start to grill and get to cooking. So let's start on the water. All right, as soon as this water gets up to a boil, uh, gets close to a boil, I'll turn on this one because it will take a shorter amount of time. It's got less water to get to a boil. So let's get to making the breadcrumbs. All right, this is what I already have, like I said, for the wings that we had. So let me spice them up with a little bit of the Italian breadcrumbs. Not too much because we don't need a lot for the fish. That'll be enough. Add some Italian seasoning. That'll be enough of that. And real simple. It's gonna be like shake and bake, right? Now we're gonna add some oil to the breadcrumbs. Now I normally do this in a in another container but I'm taking a shortcut and I'm gonna do it in this bag so I don't dirty a container if I can avoid it. I mean, I'm already got the Ziploc baggie with breadcrumbs, so might as well utilize it and try to get the breadcrumbs saturated somewhat with the oil. We don't want it too, too oily but we just want them thoroughly through all the breadcrumbs. I hope this works. Mr. Not the Chef the RV Weekend guy. That looks pretty good, I think. All right, let's put the fish in here. Let's do the little one. pretty good I think ah uh, I think that looks good let's check on the, the water. water's not ready we're waiting for that to get up the boil so we might as well do a channel shout out Today we're shouting out water girl family adventures Go to her channel and check it out. Let's see what she's got going on.
Water Girl Family Adventures, they're going out for a hike along the riverbank. Squirrel. Squirrel. Can you swim? Beautiful creek. Dylan, water baby, water girl. And don't forget water boy. All right, guys. Go check out Water Girl Family Adventures and watch a video, leave a comment, give them a thumbs up, and subscribe. Water Girl Family Adventures. Check them out. All right, before we get back to cooking, I might as well show you the shirt that I'm wearing. This is kind of a shirt that uh, isn't as new anymore, but it's still a camping shirt. Jonathan Dickinson State Park. Jonathan Dickinson State Park. Check it out. Really good kayaking and biking. They really have nice, really nice mountain biking trails there at Jonathan Dickinson State Park. I mean, really cool. I spent so much time riding that trail. I loved it. So I highly recommend Jonathan Dickinson State Park. Right, Go check them out. About ready to boil. Let's start the veggies. They won't take long to start to boil. So this looks like it's really, it's ready for some rice. So I got boiler bag. So it's just simple as that. Toss in the boiler bag. Bring it back up to boil. Nine minutes later, you got rice. Because that's easy. I like easy. All right, we're gonna get these veggie water up to heat and throw the veggies on. They should get up to heat it close to the and same time. About this pan. We're gonna add some oil and do a little saute peppers. I got some peppers, remember, in the bag. Let's add some of that. Let's get the oil around the pan evenly here. All right. And I always don't hurt to, it doesn't hurt to add more peppers. I tend to one, want more peppers every time. So I'm adding more peppers this time. So we're gonna season this with some garlic powder. And we already have onions in there, so that's enough. Let's get it done. I'm gonna grill these fish fillets. So let me go get that grill started. All right, let's start the grill. We're gonna put it on high and get it hot. Let me uh, give it a quick little brush here. All right, the water's boiling on the rice, so that's going good. All right, I'm gonna add some broccoli here and then pour in the mixed vegetables, that's gotta come back up to boil. I got a little bonus while we're waiting for things to cook. What do you think it is? What is this? It's mixed frozen fruit. Raspberries and blueberries and cranberry, or whatever those berries are that are red, clumps and strawberries and pineapple. What are we gonna do with this? We're gonna make a smoothie with it. All right, I'm gonna open up this guy. Pour in all our mixed fruit. Get them all separated. Now these are frozen. We need to melt it a little bit somehow, right? Cause it's frozen. I think I got something that can melt it a little. I got a little bit of pineapple juice except I put it in this juice box because it came in a can. I didn't want to put the can in the freezerator, so I put pineapple juice in here. So we're gonna add some pineapple juice. Oh yeah, that'll help the flavor and something else. Now you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna add some Caribbean rum with coconut liqueur. Yeah, let's do that. 
And here is my souvenir from Bahia Honda. Bahia Honda Florida Keys shot glass. All right. Well, it's time to put the fish on the grill. Oh, yeah. Now this won't take long at all, about three, four minutes on one side and then we'll flip it. All right, the peppers are pretty much done. I turned them off, so they're slowing down and the rice is done. Veggies are still going, so let's drain the rice. All right, I'm gonna add a little butter here. Get a little butter going. I'm slicing them thinner so it'll melt faster. Look at that, already melting. Yummy. Time to flip the fishies. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It won't be long now. All right, now stir the rice and get the butter in there. The rice is ready, mixed with the butter in it. The veggies are pretty much done. Mix this bad boy up. Oh yeah. Yeah. Veggies are done. So we're gonna turn them off and drain them. All right, it's that time. Time to serve it up and eat. All right, turn off the grill. Get our fish. Our red snapper. Let's go, right, time to serve it up. Here. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. Beautiful. You know what? I can't wait to get this in my mouth. But there's one thing missing, right? Hold on a minute. Joe. Mm-hmm. Ready to consume. Let me get a straw. Mmm. Mmm. That's right. Delicious. Thanks, guys, for watching my video. I appreciate it very much. If you did like the video, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to continue to see content uh, just like this, as well as my trips around the state of Florida, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to get notified when I upload my newest video, hit that notification bell. And also do me a favor, share this video with a friend. I would appreciate it, help the channel grow as I'm trying to grow and get subscribers. So thanks for watching RV Weekends and I'll see you next time.